I'd like to first take this opportunity to say I've never ever painted anything in this scale before, so if you're used to painting like these tiny little miniatures and you find my attempt laughable, then go ahead, that's completely fine, first try. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, Critical Role is an online Dungeons & Dragons campaign hosted by voice actor Matt Mercer and his friends. And uh, me being an amateur voice actor for over a decade, I find this extremely entertaining. But unfortunately I haven't really had the time to um, really get that far into it. But I have a friend who's really, really into it and I thought I'd surprise him with... Um, these painted little miniatures you have to paint yourself and uh, since he cannot paint anything I decided to do it. Uh, I don't even know if he like it but uh, I thought it was a fun exercise anyway. So um, let's get started I guess. Uh, let's see if the camera will focus. It will. So this is Caleb Widogast portrayed by uh, Liam O'Brien who uh, you probably know the best as Gara from Naruto, I believe. I didn't really watch Naruto, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Personally, I, I know him best as War from um, Darksiders and uh, Balder from Bayonetta. Anyway, he has... Uh, his color scheme is pretty dirty by default, and this lighting is really... Crap. One sec. There we go, that's a little better. There we go. So, his color scheme is pretty much what you would describe as dirty. It's just like dark brown with some lighter brown highlights and dark grey and a orangey brownish stubble. Honestly, not really too interesting visually. He was pretty easy to paint up. And uh, then there's his cat, Frumpkin, I believe. And um, if we can focus closer, you can see that I put detail into the eyes. He slash she, I don't know the gender of the cat, has uh, green eyes. And the camera will not focus on it. Uh, one major point about all this is that uh, in my normal scale Marvel Legends, I find eyes extremely difficult to paint. And uh, as you can see, this is the size of a Marvel Legends head, and these eyes on the, these little miniatures are about probably one-tenth of that size, if not even smaller. But um, I tried putting different tones of color into all of them, like Caleb Harris' blue eyes. Don't think you can pick it up, but it's nice to know it's there. Moving on, we have uh, Not the Brave. She is a little goblin, portrayed by Sam Regal, who I know the best from Transformers War for Cybertron as Starscream. And uh, she is... she's wrapped in bandages. Uh, I don't know if you can see those white lines on her face, but they're supposed to be bandages. Sometimes she has like a porcelain mask, I believe but uh, I wasn't really sure, because the sculpt is so tiny, I don't really know what to go for, to be honest. I did some highlights on the coat. Don't really know what else to say about her, but I think she turned out really well, because she didn't really have any realistic um, uh, like proportions to go for. Like so I could make the eyes a little bit bigger and make them pop. But yeah, not the brave. Next up, we have um, Beauregard Lionettes, portrayed by Marisha Ray, who I don't actually know from anything except that she's Matt Mercer's wife. Uh, this nice little subtle gradient here. It's like a cyan morphing up into the dark blue. A really challenging bit with... Um, painting these up was that they have official artwork but there are no like 3d models of them so in some in some in some instances i unfortunately had to improvise a little bit 
but I think it turned out pretty well. I think I, be I, I believe there's an animated series coming out at some point, but uh, since this is the second campaign, then I'll probably do the first one first. Next up is uh, Yasha, portrayed by Ashley Johnson, who you probably know the best from um, The Last of Us as Ellie. Uh, she was probably the one I had the most difficulties with, because um, she has some really light, pale skin tone and quite heavy eye makeup. And uh, makeup in the scale is hard, like eyes normally is hard, and then if you have to do like makeup around the eyes, that's even harder. There's subtle gradient in her hair, it goes from white to black pretty fast. And there's some dry brushing on her blue fur collar. I don't know what sort of animal leaves blue fur, but anyway, she's got it. And uh, I don't really know what her main outfit is supposed to be. It's uh, I think it's like white fur. But hey, I tried. Like I said, she was probably the most difficult one out of all of these. Next up is Ford, the half-orc portrayed by Travis Willingham. He's probably the one who um, ended up the best, probably. His color scheme is quite simple, but there are some subtle details, like um, his face. It starts from a lighter green here and then to a darker green. At first I thought it was just the artwork being really weird, but then uh, I read in the description that that's actually how he looks. Uh... I don't really know what else to say here. But I really like the... Um, like, it's quite colorful. Like, with the green skin. There's some highlights here. On, like, the raised areas. I don't know if you can see that with this camera. And the face turned out really quite nice as well. Next up is uh, Jester, portrayed by Laura Bailey, who you probably know from literally every modern video game and TV show. But um, she's the first one I started back when I had, uh, when I was still wide-eyed and optimistic about all of this before it crushed me into the dirt. She's got some nice highlights here um, on the blue, some lighter. Then quite a lot of highlights on the cape. As you can see, all the raised areas have like this little lighter green. And uh, her eyes are actually purple. I don't know if the camera will pick this up. Yeah, she's got purple eyes. And when I say she's got purple eyes, I of course mean she also does have the black pupil in them. But yeah, cape. I think she turned out really clean. I'm quite happy with her. So this is Shakasta, performed by Kari Payton, who you probably know the best as Cyborg from Teen Titans and Aqualad from Young Justice. And uh, he is probably the one I think turned out the best. Probably because it didn't really have to do any real detail work, as his eyes are pure white. Uh, I enjoyed doing the dry brushing for his afro, and the cape turned out really well. It's quite plain and simple, but there's a nice contrast between that and the brown. Really quite happy with how it turned out. And finally, we have Molly Mark Tealeaf, I believe. Portrayed by Telesin Jeffy, who I don't actually know from anything either. A very intricately colored coat. There's some purple stripes on it. There is 
a detailed look on his coat, but it's far too intricate to do at this scale for me because I'm not experienced enough. So I basically just improvised here. It didn't really turn out all that great, honestly. But yeah. Like I said, I'm not very experienced with the scale at all. He's got red eyes. Uh, some shading on his shirts. A nice pattern on his pants and some silver for the braces. Don't really know what else to say about him, but uh, yeah. He was extremely intimidating to even start. So yeah, that's my showcase of the Mighty Nine from Critical Role. I'm sorry I couldn't paint them on camera, but like I said, they're way too tiny and the detail probably would have suffered for it. But I still hope you enjoyed it at least. I'll see you guys in a bit.